great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the Nevada Wolfpack. Number 14 is the type of player who can single-handedly influence the outcome of any ball game. This youngster is an offensive machine. He's got a nice jumper and isn't afraid to go hard to the rack. The Wolfpack will no doubt have to find an answer for him. The Wolfpack looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second of all, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. And lastly, it's imperative that you win the battle of the boards. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Here, a five-second call forced by that determined defense. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. Move it into the front court. Trying to feed the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby. They go into the low block. The skip pass is picked off. Looking for the foul. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Down inside, West receives the pass. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Launches the three. He makes the shot. That's nine unanswered. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. to the action. Now trying to feed the low block. Jumped in front to take it away. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Mercer handles the feed. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. He makes a nice shot fake. With the J. Nails the J. Picks up the foul. First team foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. The center receives the ball. And the ball goes out of play. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. For the bucket, in and out. The center handles the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. To the charity strike. He makes it. Makes those free throws can. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. 
He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Carney comes up with it. The ball goes out of bounds. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There's the fake. Pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Shoots. Sinks it. Gave it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. They've left him completely alone. Top of the circle. Buried it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Number four, pump fakes. Puts up the shot. The Wolf Pack to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. High post flasher is open. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. There's a bad pass right to the defender. guy now is gaining position down there on the low block dick i tell you he gained big time position by getting the good angle the good arm entry had the real extension gave it up boy terrible execution on offense on the top of the key he gets that one to fall goes up for two Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside, he dials long distance. Goes. Let's look at it again. the block offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose there was no doubt about that one Abrams is emotionally fired up and you know what Brad I'm excited for him he's putting out a performance for the bucket and he scores it off the glass He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Stolen away. Gave it up. They run it up into transition. Gliding in for the jam. Slided and glided. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. They work it back to the outside. Fakes a jumper. 
looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work it around the arc. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. He'll go to the line. He misses it. He takes the rebound. circle he hits the tough shot I'll tell you he's not going to deal with ease Brad here he comes defensively on him on the low block Dick I'll tell you three-quarter position try to deny but then he does a great job of post position spreading his body and getting the ball what a great play check him out Dick he's taunting the crowd you've got that right Brad it on the floor and up and under. This one looks to be headed for a blowout. Someone better step up in a hurry, baby. Mason's mediocre play has really gotten to him. Brad, he's in what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. He's open if he wants the shot. Goes in. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. to three. Got it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Moving it around the perimeter. The Wolfpack seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup. Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they're a solid and reliable basketball player. Number 21 is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for them. Close defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. He hits the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. From three-point territory, he drains the bucket. In the paint, makes the shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He throws it up from downtown, off the rim and no good. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? 
there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. They work the perimeter. For two, Nevada are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Turnover. And again, they look to run. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He gets it to go. That's eight on answer. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Belay. Here's the replay. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. He gets the rejection. I'd say they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Garou. Turnaround jumper. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. Here's a double team. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of scores it and he's fouled so again one opportunity here he goes to the line for the first time foul shot no good grabs it once you get that board you've got to be looking up court Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making the throw to lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. You're talking about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot. On both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. 
Dump it inside. Pressure that basketball. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from left to the circle. Way off target. And a momentary look from three-point land. Set that screen away. For the bucket, he gets the shot to fall. Takes away the pass. On the outside. Working it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. High post flashes for two. And in and out. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. on the steal. That's going to be the offense. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Penetrates and kicks back. There's the trap. Tries one from three-point land. Makes it. Steals the pass. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. is asking the fans for even more encouragement. Brad, he wants some fan support for this offensive possession. Good job defensively. Perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Shots there if he wants it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great shot. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one.
High post player flashing. Gave it up. Goes up for two. And he missed. He up fakes. seconds to shoot got the high pick he sinks another basket what are they gonna do with this guy Dick I don't know Brad but they better do it quickly throws it up hoping for the best off the rim and no good at the end of the first half the Sun Devils are ahead by 13 let's take a look back and watch the play of the half Nevada just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of his game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Out of the air. Bland is receiving an enthusiastic response from the crowd. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the team. On the inside, up fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Picked off. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Carney makes the finger roll. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He shoots from the angle. He hits it. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The Sun Devils are up by 10. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. 
Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Too much contact there and knocked him off balance a little. Working it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. For two, and he scores it off the glass. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Goes up for two. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Arizona State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries for two. He gets the bucket. This is simply a great play, Brad. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. I think they're trying to make a statement. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison. Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. He tries the three. He buries it. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Got an open look if he wants it. Problem with that when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see Braun man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They're working around the perimeter. Three. That's good. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He shoots from the top of the key. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. Unloads a three. Way off target. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Let's 
whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, do a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Intercepted. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the outside, lets it fly. It sticks. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts it up, looking for contact. Makes the shot. On the inside tries to get the D to bite that's been moved not going to work against the defense I like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin Nick I think there's a mismatch in the post they need to get him the ball there for two great play to take that to the basket Steals the ball. Here they go into transition. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Moving it around the perimeter. Out of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. He buries the shot. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For the bucket, perfectly executed. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Now they'll bring it up. Stolen. Big man spins down. He made the duck plus an opportunity for one. There's nothing like throwing down a dunk and getting the foul. Speaking from experience there, Dick? Of course. With the free throw. He hits it. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron.
two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Wolfpack are down by eight. The Wolfpacks have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He bombs from outside. He gets it to go. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. The Wolfpack are behind by seven. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Tries for two. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. On the outside. Working it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Unloads. Rims out. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Entry pass in the paint. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the trap. From the baseline. He gets it to fall. He intercepts it. Pushes it up. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high rising. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Arizona State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He gets the shot to fall. Steals the pass. Looking for contact. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, he's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? It around the arc takes away the pass oh, 
High post screen. So effective that screen. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Got a nice screen. The Wolf Packs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle. Hey, kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. That's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gives him the fake. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Dumps it in. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. You got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Look at that spacing. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Knocks it down. There's a double team waiting there. He unloads a three. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Steal. On the outside. He launches a three. You bet. The shooting guard gets the pass. Great defense. And the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. That is a personal foul. Nick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Nevada loses the game. They had a chance to win this one against a comparable team, but they ended up defeating themselves. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.